Hello everyone, this is the second lecture. I would like to remind you what I did in the first video. I just defined the materials, 50 megapascal 35 and the steel reinforcement, F400 and 240. Also, I have defined the column across section C1, C2, C3. walls and the slab section shown here now let's draw okay we should draw this layout from here quick draw column i will start drawing c3 just drag the mouse from the left to the right in this way okay I did something wrong now which is I forget to check on which layout I'm drawing I'm now at elevation 102 meter or story 34 then let me delete this just click the delete button move up one more and now we are at elevation equal 3 meter okay now we should draw the columns c3 okay now we need to draw column c1 c1 have the dimension of 1 by 1 okay we have 3 here And the last section C2. Okay. It's much better to view the layout using colors just to check if we have did something wrong section properties from here and just click apply okay now the sections are viewed by lay by colors however let's let let's change this color define section property frame section and c3 just click here and maybe let's select i select the same maybe okay now we need to draw the walls section of course let me remind you again that from story number one to five we have a wall thickness of 0 0.5 meter from 6 to 19 0 0.45 and from 20 to 34 we have a wall thickness of 0 0.4 meter okay let's start now with the 50 Oh, sorry, let me show you what, where I click. I click here, draw walls. And from here, property, choose wall 50. We already defined it from the first lecture. Okay, here we, ne we need to delete those because you have walls. Okay, click again this one.
As you can see, I'm always drawing the wall from the left to the right and from up to down. Please do it in the same way because this is something related to the local axis of each wall. I will discuss this later. Now we need to draw the second wall. Just select the wall and go to edit, uh, replicate, linear and replicate in the y direction minus 2.5 meter. The same way but click 2.5 without the minus. And lastly, select these two walls and replicate now in the X direction. Okay, save. We need now to draw these walls at the middle, the core walls. This wall have a length of 4 meter and in the y direction it has 11.5 meter. Okay, let me zoom here. Okay, now see if I want to draw it from here. It's just hard to to draw it in this in a straight way. Actually, there is a much better way. Go from the draw from draw option here. Draw all the stacks, select the first one, specify the length of 4 meter and the thickness of 500, ok. Ok, before drawing this, as, it, as you can see here at the left bottom corner, we are drawing this wall from story number 1 to story 34. Actually, I don't want this. I just want to draw it at the first story only. Then just click. Select the same wall. Edit, replicate. I will go somehow faster now. Linear. 11.5 over 2. And replicate it again in the y direction. Maybe it's better to define a grid system for these core walls. You just need to compute the joint coordinates at the corner here, 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 here to draw this grid system. I will do it also so quickly. Just try to click on the screen, click add modify, add a new grid system. I will name it core walls. Okay, and now click modify to modify this one. We already defined. Okay. I already uh, write this the grid coordinates on a paper in front of me. I will just copy.
Okay, right click on the screen. We can we can hide the original grid system by clicking on this one and click on this arrow. Sorry, I draw wrong. Okay, now select this wall and replicate it because it's easier we need to replicate it 2.7 plus 2.7 plus 3 meters okay 2.7 plus 2.7 plus 3 I just copy these distances okay now let's put the and hide the core wall I'm just drawing here the final wall let me show you there is here a wall in the y direction we need to rotate 90 degree one click here and another click here and okay it's done now Now we need to draw the slab. I will just change the color to gray. And from this option, quick draw floor or wall. Select here the slab we defined already and just drag the mouse from the left to the right. And it's done. Now what we need to do is to remove this area here to make an opening we have two way to do it we can click this one draw rectangular floor wall and select opening and just drag the mouse from corner to the corner however I don't like this way because sometimes it it could lead to some problems I will delete it, just click this one, the one, the opening we draw already, and just delete. And I will do it in another way. Okay, I will right click on the screen, set the grid system visibility. And show this grid system we defined for core walls. Okay, now, now select the area of slabs, the one you want to divide. Select one, two, three, four, those slab area elements. And from here, there is an option called divide shell. Somebody may cannot uh, have this one here, the toolbar. You can do it from edit, edit shell, divide. It's just the same. Click this one and and choose intersection with visible grids apply 
Now what happened is just divided where the grids are visible. Now just select the walls, sorry the slab element you want to delete. And just click delete. I feel in this way it's much better to do it. Okay, now we, we draw the almost everything in the first story. I like here to maybe to merge these for uh, these slab elements from edit edit shell merge shells and just click OK. Now they are one element. In the same way, however, I will do it from here. And actually it's not wrong to keep them but you can merge and you can keep this is something related to the connectivity of joints when we do the mesh later I will talk about it in much more detail but just for now I'm just trying to show you the options we have in using ETAP software okay save I will stop here and let's continue in the next video